congrats for the big win today. I mean, it was not so big because you were already qualified, but does it still feel? Are you still happy to win this kind of game? Yeah, obviously. Uh, win is a win. Obviously, you will be happy when you win. I just wanted to play something different though because uh, I don't know. As it is a bit boring, I felt a bit boring in game. But since we got the win, I'm just happy. So yeah. So of course we were not here for the last split, uh, winter and spring, but uh, there is improvement in the result for Casey. So do you think that you can even do better now because you are in the playoff now? But what is the minimum objective? I mean, the minimum is obviously to go to Worlds, and uh, I think we're getting better week by week. So yeah, we just go to playoffs. We have two more weeks uh, to practice, and uh, at the end of the day, we will see who is our element. We will adapt. And I also want to know more about your own experience in LEC uh, because I made some interview in Paris with you and you told me that you were not so happy about making interview during Media Day, you are not so good in doing this kind of stuff. So now that you have yeah. more experience in that, uh, did you learn to appreciate this kind of moment? Yeah, a bit. I mean, I think I'm still bad, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> like, uh, I can do them, I can tag. And I get that playing in LEC is the main objective of every uh, European player. So, so far, how has been your experience? Is it like uh, as you thought at before? When I went to the, the LEC or when I knew that I would play, I was uh, obviously uh, I was feeling uh, pretty comfortable because uh, I think I can match in a lot of, uh, most of the mid laners in the LEC, if not all. So, yeah, I'm just uh, really confident on myself. And I guess that everyone is different, but for example, some player Maybe like Abadago, you had some doubt about joining your LEC team in the middle of the season, especially a team who had some not so good results. So when you were offered the spot, uh, did you took it like right away or you also hesitated? No, I think I just went to play right away because uh, no matter the roster, even though right now I'm pretty happy with the roster, but no matter the roster, I think uh, I will be able to, to perform and show that I'm capable to play in that level. And do you feel that your split in LFL Uh, help you somehow to become better? Uh, or do you think that maybe you could have played LEC at the start of the season uh, right away and you have been, you would have been good? Uh, I think playing in LFL was uh, pretty important to me. I had uh, Linkas, I had uh, a lot of players surrounding me that had uh, a lot of experience or like uh, they won, uh, they had the teammates before. So I just, uh, I got some experience by them and uh, Now I'm here. <laughs> and do you have a different uh, role compared to your role in uh, LFL with KCB? Uh, not really. I think uh, I was kind of following some calls, but I guess right now in this split, I'm also giving some uh, ideas or some. Uh, I'm also kind of short calling. But yeah, I'm just uh, following the plan. And if I find uh, something uh, that is good uh, in that moment of the game, I will say it. And pressure has been a huge thing for Casey. And when I talked to other players, like from the last split, they were saying that the pressure was very high and they have a hard time to adapt. But for you, even if you are young and even if you are a rookie, you seem to be totally fine and like no feeling any pressure. So do you agree with that? Or even if you have feel some pressure, maybe it doesn't show to, to, on your face? I mean, I, obviously everyone has some pressure. It depends on the situation they are. But uh, I think it's good if you don't have it. And... Uh... Yeah, I'm one of them. Like, uh, I don't really have pressure in the in the games. I'm just uh, playing the best. And so far, uh, now that you have played against every single mid laners in LEC, do you think that the level is very high compared to what you know from ERLs, or it's still something that is okay for you? I mean, uh, I think the top mid laners obviously are uh, way better than uh, uh, the mid laners in the ERLs, but uh, I think. The, the average mid laners in the LEC are not that far from uh, the best ARL mid laners, I would say. And also, when I see some content from Casey, like Kamin Life, for example, you seem to be a very uh, funny guy and that you give good emotions to all the team. But uh, what about your teammates? Who is the most funny around your teammate beside you? Maybe, I would say maybe closer, but I think everyone is uh, kind of following my mood. Like, they are uh, also like getting to my mood and they are just doing also stupid stuff you know because <laughs> you are always making some joke 
So have you always been like that uh, in, your, in real life? Like even in, outside of the games with your family or your friends, are you the one who makes some jokes and you? Yeah, make it it's it's me as a person. I'm just <laughs> I'm just uh, too uh, funny, I would say, I guess. We also spoke a little bit about KCB, and of course, you are not in LFL anymore. But did you keep good contact with your former teammates, and are you still following uh, the games in LFL? I mean, I'm not really talking to them much, but uh, I'm watching uh, almost uh, every game, and they are. Uh, I see that they are doing really good, and uh, I hope they keep doing. Uh, they win the split, let's say. Yes, because you already won a split, so maybe. Maybe people will say that you already made a good year in 2024, but you have, of course, like more stuff to come. So, what for like for you to say it is a good year? What should happen next? I mean, uh, I think just uh, I mean, obviously, if I go to Worlds, I would say it's uh, a good year. But uh, if uh, I feel that I I'm playing good or that I'm in uh, a good shape, I would say it's. Uh, a good year because right now I don't feel like I'm playing at my best. Uh, I can uh, play better for sure. So if we speak about improvement, do you have any specific? Uh, okay, I say that any specific point that you want to improve that that you feel like you can do better? Maybe on stage I'm just hesitating to do some stuff or like uh, play more aggressive where I do in scrims. I think that's uh, one thing that is missing. I'm just playing too scared, I would say, sometimes. And also, I learned that it was uh, Tagama's birthday today. So are you going to celebrate somehow or did you give him any gift? I mean, I give him the win. That's it. There is nothing to celebrate. It's just a gift. He, uh, we, he got carried by upset. So that's the gift from uh, all of us as a team. And speaking about one other of your teammate is uh, Kana in the top lane. So of course he's Korean, so is it your first time to play in a team with a Korean? And uh, how do you adapt to this kind of player? I mean, it's my first time playing with Korean. I think it's uh, it's kind of exciting, I would say, at uh, the beginning. And it's Khan as well, like he came from uh, a big uh, team or from big teams. But uh, yeah, we are just adapting. Like obviously he has some uh, language issues, but he's learning from week, uh, week to week. And I think right now he's... Uh, He's speaking fine, like he can understand uh, the basics uh, that we say. Okay, then thank you so much, Vladi. And to finish the interview, I have one last uh, question. It's about making some predictions because right now there is like two tiebreakers that are playing. So, who do you think is going to make it the player between uh, Mad Lion and Rogue and Vitality? I mean, I think it's kind of hard. I think on paper it's obviously vita Vitality because uh, they, are, uh, they are good as individuals, but I think they are not playing well as uh, a team. Uh, this split, so maybe we'll say Mad Lions. Okay, then of course the interview will go out after, so we'll see if you are right or not. But thank you so much, Vladi. Thank you.